So he's bought the uh, he's brought us the incredible Gumbo album, the multi Grammy award winning producer, artist, songwriter. He's a keys player for Maroon Five, and he's a CEO and founder of Morton Records. Here to plug his brand new single, "Please Don't Walk Away." Ladies and gentlemen, live from New Orleans, we do have PJ Morton. Was good. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. What's going on? It's good to be with you. Uh, it is incredible to have you on the show today. It's not every day, you know, we get someone from the US, uh, you know, zooming in. So definitely something very special for us here. Uh, I'm from the Cook Islands and to say hello, we say kia orana. So kia orana. Kia orana. Let's go. Kia Welcome orana. to the show. Um, okay. So good to have uh, you here. Yes, thank you. Um, first of all, before we jump into your single, I know we've grown up on two different uh, sides of the world, so things are very different. I thought it'd be quite fun mm -hmm. to, to chuck a few common phrases that we use down here in the Pacific and okay. Aotearoa to see if you can decipher what they mean. Are you down for that? <laughs> I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. First one is caked it. Caked it. Um, it's like I I killed it. I killed that. It's. <laughs> oh wait, close. wait, hold on. Close. Yeah. <laughs> close, but the other. The I was other gonna way. change the code. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. I was gonna go the total opposite way, which is like you just you messed it up. Yeah, right? yeah, like yeah. You, you killed it in a bad yeah. way. Yeah. So that that's what that yes. one means. Okay. Uh, the next one okay. is uh, skucks. So if you so, if you call skucks. someone a skucks, what are you saying? Oh, skucks is not a good thing. It's definitely not a good thing. Just because it has a, it has it's it's got an ux at the end. You know what I mean? So I just know it's not good. Um, so if you're a stucks, you're kind of like a um, you're like a, a ditz. You're not smart. You know. <laughs> um, close skucks is actually a good thing. So it means that you're a good looking. So if I say you know. PJ Morton's is a skacks. He's a skacks. He's good looking. That's what you refer to. Oh, so I'm a joint. Yeah, yep. that would be like, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, so I've, um, I've really messed those up. I've been on the opposite side, really. But thank you for bringing me on that. Yeah, you all good. You. Um, I've got one more for you. Uh, umu. Okay. Do you know what an umu is? Um, umu. Um, uh, an umu is uh, it's a piece of clothing that you wear, you know, um, when you're really cold. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so umu is like an underground oven. So that's how we cook our, um, and the earth, you know, uh, cook all our meat oh, wow. and stuff like that. Traditionally, that's how, um, that's what we call our underground oven, our umu. So, um, Amazing. So, so not really close, but, but good, good try. Good, good, good breakdown. Yeah, none of them were. <laughs> I appreciate the, the lesson though. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, my bro. Um, now, of course, you know, when, when I think of PJ Morton, I think of soul, I think of gospel, um, and I love me some gospel. The gospel scene here in Aotearoa and the Pacific is huge. Um, tell us the influence yeah. of, of gospel throughout your music. Uh, and what your sound is today. Yeah, I mean, it's the foundation really for me. Um, it's where it all started for me. So um, everything I do kind of gets referenced back to that, you know. Um, I always say soul music, I think, is, is, is a very thin line between gospel and soul mm -hmm. music, you know. It's kind of like one is talking upward, mm -hmm. you know, and one is talking, um, you know, straight across to, to, to people um, that we love. Um, so I think they're very so similar in, in, in their heart and, in the, you know, in the intention. Um, so for me, you know, gospel is just a huge part of everything that yeah. that that follow for me. Love it so much. So um, in saying that, you know, talk to us a bit about uh, your brand new single for 2021. Uh, Please don't walk away. Yeah, please don't walk away. I mean, I guess, you know, <laughs> uh, when, when we talk about soul music, I think that that is built on. Uh, men uh, being vulnerable and and being willing to um, apologize or mm. beg or you know um, really sh really show um, weakness in that mm. really to show how much they love a person and I feel like that's been missing a little bit you know in in music today and um, you know for me I just want to um, not change anything yeah. that's going on in music but lend my voice mm. and be a little balanced. Um, in music and say what I'm saying. And, you know, for me, the response I've gotten from men is thank you for putting it in the words mm. for me. I couldn't really express that. Thank you. Now I could just play this song and it kind of says what I want to say. So that's what I want to be doing with it. Yeah. I, I love when, it, you know, when I listen to the song, I love the integrity that you hold with it and you touch it, you know, you, you did it right on the head there uh, where you were saying, uh, you know, a lot of people refer to music nowadays as um, shallow, some may say, but you keep that integrity of old school, of soul. Is that quite hard for you in the, the music industry today? 
Um, you know, I say it was hard um, years ago. You know, for me, it's gotten easier um, because after you've done it for a while, especially consistently, and yeah. I kind of somehow remain myself in all of this craziness. Um, now people come to expect me to be authentic. So mm -hmm. it would almost it would almost be um, weirder if I were to do what was happening currently in music. Yeah, you yeah. know, that would catch people more off guard. I think. Um, my following and the people who support me understand that I'm yeah. I, that I'm coming from a certain place, you yeah. know. Yeah, love that. And uh, you know, being a muser as well as a songwriter and the singer, um, tell us, walk us through your creative process. Um, you know, for creating music, that must be fun knowing how to mm -hmm. do everything yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I guess it is. I'm I'm grateful because I can kind of see an idea and 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 kind of execute it to, 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 to the end, you know, I'm grateful for that. Cause I have a lot of friends who don't yeah, produce, yeah. you know, or write and they're stuck, you know, and they need other people. So, um, but, but a lot of times for me, it just starts with a thought or a melody. Uh, I'm in my phone all day, yeah, yeah. you know, doing <laughs> voice notes, you know, yeah. and reminding myself because I'll forget. Um, and, uh, I mean, like for this, oddly enough, you know, because this is like a ballad, mm. but it started with the drums for me. Um, uh, it started with that beat before I put any music to it, any any lyrics to it. Um, but once I had the melody, then the then the lyrics started to speak. So uh, more often than not, I'll have a melody first mm -hmm. and then uh, put some words to it. And then after the song is written and I'll produce it out and, and really put everything to it, you know. So good. Hey, uh, brother, before we yeah. do jump into the song, uh, you know, speaking of mm -hmm. collaborations, you've collaborated with some insane people. One of my favorite vocalists is Yeba. Um, love, love, yes, love. I mean, yes. her runs, her trills, crazy. Uh, you know, where Amazing. do you see yourself or what has one of your favorite collaborations been? Um, and what would someone that you would uh, like to collaborate with look like? Yeah, I mean, all of them have different, you know, like my kids or something. But but um, Say So is a really special one to me with JoJo. Um, uh, Jasmine and I have a song called uh, Jasmine mm -hmm. Sullivan, uh, Built for Love. And of course, Yeba. I mean, that was my... That was my first Grammy, yeah. you know, uh, Yeba's first Grammy. And um, it's it's really special how that all came together. It was really last minute mm. um, and like really just on the whim. And, and that's what came of it, you know, and, and, and here we are. So that one definitely holds a special place in my heart for sure. Yeah. I, you know, you know. Oh, you said who would I like to collaborate yeah, yeah, with? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I used to always say Stevie Wonder and then I collaborated with Stevie and then I'm like, who do I want? But like my contemporaries, like Kendrick Lamar, when you yeah. talk about intentional artists, you mm. know, and um, not shallow, um, I, Kendrick comes to mind and I, I, I hope to one day um, work with him on uh, work with him on something. Love it. Love it. I um, you know, I know how you, you talked on, uh, you know, sometimes the, the last the last minute things work out the best, the organic. And that's what I love as well. Uh, before we jump into your song now, are you, are you ready to, to finish the lyrics? Can we play a little uh, little game before we jump into your single? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what I got. <laughs> I know your eyes in the morning sun. Mm hmm. I see you touch me in the pouring rain. Yay. Love it so <laughs> and much. And the moment yeah, let's go. you got it. Keep going. <laughs> no, I ain't stopping you. You got it. You got it. And the moment <laughs> that you no 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 no. Um, Bye. hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Don't PJ. play with me. Don't play with me, Chuck. <laughs> All right. Um, PJ, thank you so much for your time, brother. I know you're a busy man. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to you uh, to introduce your brand and new track. Yes, here is my new single. Please don't walk away right here, right now. Here it is. <laughs> 